Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? A little bit more class than boys and girls, I'm sorry for that. I'm Ines Leia from ToleratedCinematics.com. Today I will be talking about color grading and more specifically color grading like Sam Calder. Sam is an online influencer that travels the world and makes beautiful edits from all the locations he visits. Honestly, I didn't actually plan on making this video because there are already hundreds of videos on this topic. But anyway, people kept asking me how to do this, so I decided to make this tutorial and show you my point of view, my workflow, and hopefully you will pick up a few other tricks that you didn't see in other videos. Also, the most videos that I saw on this subject on YouTube and I'm not talking about all of them but the videos that I came across didn't really approach the style in the right way um, they really like to change the colors of the highlights and the midtones and the shadows I'm not a big fan of that because that just adjusts all the colors in your scene what I like to tackle is actually individual colors for example the greens turn them more towards an orange tone color and really adjusting these colors individually is what achieves the best result in my opinion if I change the midtones drastically everything is going to turn orange and it's just going to look a little bit messy and yeah that doesn't work it doesn't look professional in my opinion to follow this tutorial I actually provided the same footage uh, with the link in the description you can go ahead and download that so you can follow along and do exactly what I'm doing and see the results on the right footage also if you want you can download a free Premiere Pro preset with the link in the description for this exact footage so an outdoor scene uh, which is sunny and there is where the preset is going to be perfect for Although in some occasions the color should be a little bit different because it depends on what location you are. If you're indoors, your color grading is going to be different than if you're outdoors. If there is a cloudy day, it's going to be different than a sunny day. So that's why we created eight different presets in the same kind of style, uh, which you can actually go ahead and buy on our website. These presets are made for Premiere Pro only, but that also means that you can adjust them uh, if you have a different kind of scenery. So try to find the preset that is as close as possible to your scenery. So if you have an indoor scene, you don't want too much contrast, you can apply the indoor mid contrast uh, preset, for example, and then still do a few adjustments to get it just right. Apart from that, we also provided the exact same eight presets as LUT profiles, which means that you can import them in any kind of video editing software, such as Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, After Effects, Photoshop even for photo editing and any kind of video editing software that you might find online. If that video editing software is just a little bit professional, it should work because most of the video editing softwares nowadays accept LUT profiles. And this is just like a preset that just works in any kind of software. So um, that's all in that package that you can buy. And apart from that, you can also get the free preset with the link in the description and you can still adjust that if you have a little bit of knowledge on uh, color grading but yeah if you want to support the channel you can just go ahead and buy the package and that's all I want to say it helps you produce better content but anyway I know I have been talking for a while now but I just wanted to give you the right information before we get started so let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and see how it is done all right so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and as you can see this is the video file that we will be using to do on uh, the preset uh, on so if you will check right here in my effects controls this uh, can be on a different location uh, than you might have but in effects controls you can actually uh, uncheck this uh, Lumetri color profile and as you can see this is the original footage which is uh, just a regular kind of shot and then this is with the preset it looks amazing and instantly you see it's it's so much more <laughs> so color grading your footage can really have its benefits so as you can see I will just show you very quickly uh, the preset files that we have so right now nothing is applied we can go ahead and go to the effects uh, folder right here I will actually bring this up just a little bit and right here we have a folder with TC summer vibe grading styles and as you can see we have five different files uh, which you can just go ahead and uh, apply to something so right here we have the outdoor low contrast the outdoor mid contrast and then the outdoor uh, contrast so let's apply the outdoor contrast and there we go uh, if we're going to undo that we can apply another one and see the differences right here so it depends on which kind of footage you have um, but if we're going to look at different samples here um, actually let's go over here for example if you're in an airplane uh, the contrast should be a little bit lower so there we go um, everything is optimized for each individual scene in night shot for example let's uh, just have a quick preview on that one this is without and this is with uh, the file well actually this is without anything and this is with the look okay 
Then right here, this is also a big improvement. So without anything and uh, with the uh, presets applied, same goes for this one. You can really get some uh, fun results here. As you can see, uh, <laughs> the skin tone results. Okay. And here are the same thing. And indoor, this is also a very big one. So right now you can see these warm and nice color tones. Without it, it's pretty boring. So this is without it and with them. Okay, so now we can get started with the tutorial. I'm sorry that I'm kind of going on and on of things, but it's really important to understand the differences of each scene. So if you're going to be doing this style, it really works when you're working with a summer kind of vibe video. So if you're in the water with a GoPro, perfect. If you're uh, on a vacation and you see uh, the sun is shining and you have like a lower angle sun, you can do amazing grades. But of course, if it's going to be a very cloudy day where the sun isn't isn't even showing, uh, you have no shadows, everything is very diffused, this kind of grade, it won't make your shot look very sunny, you know? So um, that's what we're trying to achieve here. So right here we can see hard shadows, which means there is a sun. If you don't have hard shadows, it means there are a lot of clouds and it won't benefit of uh, the results. Okay, so also really important is that you color correct your footage before you start grading. These are two very different things. Color correcting is getting your colors to look as realistic as possible. So getting the contrast right, the blacks and the highlights perfect on point and the saturation perfect. And then grading is going to be the style. So the color you're going to give to each individual color. So um, I have a video on that, I think. Uh, if I do, I will actually put a card on that right here. Um, and we can get started. So as you can see, this footage looks uh, pretty close enough to being color corrected. Uh, so we can add maybe a little bit more contrast if you want to. So uh, select it and add more contrast. And actually, uh, we should have this little bit tree. We delete it. Uh, so we are, are starting with a clean plate here. So increase the, foot, uh, the contrast maybe. And maybe a little bit of saturation, not too much. But actually, I think this looks fairly close to the real life, uh, in my opinion. Of course, you can play around with the highlights, maybe increase them to make it a little bit more sunny. Uh, play with the shadows if you want. I like to have very nice contrasted tones. A lot of people tend to go to like the flat scenes and where the shadows are like um, grayish, uh, like this kind of log format. I think this is actually overrated and it's going away. So having your tones perfect, the blacks are black and your whites are white. This is for me my favorite kind of style. So. Um, and as you can see in Sam Kohler's videos, he's also uh, getting his blacks very black. So what other people do in, on YouTube to get his style is pulling the shadows into the blues, the mid-tones in the orange tones, and now you get something like this, uh, which is kind of ugly in my opinion. So what I will do is just reset this, and instead I will go to immediately to the HSL secondary tab, and here what we want to change is the main colors that Sam Kohler actually affects are the greens and the blues and a little bit of the oranges. So um, let's take a look. We'll start with the green channel. So click on the green button right here. If we're going to drag, you will actually see that we're trying to find all these green spots on our video. We can also increase this a little bit larger and we can also extend this fade off uh, to be a little bit bigger. So now we have some like this. I think this looks fine. We can still adjust everything later on in time. So maybe uh, somewhere around here. So we actually are tackling only the greens and not the house here. And now we can also check this to have the gray, the color gray. So make sure you're actually seeing only greens here. And check this. Uh, or actually while it is selected, we can increase the blur level and this is just going to fade it up, uh, fade it out a little bit better. Okay. So now we have selected our color, but now we need to still adjust our color into a different color. To change it, I will actually go over here to the temperature and increase it more towards an orange tone. And as you can see, it's immediately doing a different kind of style. So without it and with it, you can see a big difference. Maybe introduce a little bit of purple in here. We can also play with the contrast if you want more contrast in the greens. Uh, maybe sharpen the trees a little bit and then for the saturation we can play around with this uh, Maybe not too much. So lower the contrast and uh, the saturation. I'm sorry to 85% 
So immediately you get a very similar look towards your uh, greens. So greens are regular right here and right here you have the graded footage. Uh, maybe even lower, maybe 80% in saturation, perfect. Next what you want to do is adjust the blues, but the only problem is we just affected the greens and if you're going to click on the blues, the green information is going to be lost. And you only have one HSL secondary. So what you need to do is go to effects right here, go to your effects tab and search for the Lumetri color. Right here, apply a new Lumetri color to your video. Now you will see that this is reset. Uh, we can click on the blue channel right now and actually try to find the sky. So right here we have the sky. We can increase this a little bit uh, to have it fade on course and also increase the blur as much as possible, maybe something like this. So we have a nice, uh, a nice fade. Now what we can do is also uh, make our blues a little bit more cyan. So right now we have some kind of baby blue color and what we want to do is actually turn that into a cyan color. So to do that is we have selected our blues, uh, we can go over here, we can also play with this wheel by the way, we can go and take a little bit more towards blues but not too much and then we want to shift it a little bit warmer and also shift it towards the greens and that's going to turn it more towards uh, the blues. The only thing that we now have is that it's also affecting the uh, clouds here. To do that we actually need to trim this down a little bit so we can decrease this level and bring it more towards the darker tones and also fade it out just like this and now the highlights aren't going to be affected anymore so now we can see that the clouds stay white we're just affecting the blues here and here we're starting to get results we can increase the saturation a little bit make it a little bit bigger and there we go. So now we're affecting the blues here. Yep. Okay. Perfect. We can shift it still a little bit here more towards the sign course. And there we go. If we want to go back to the other adjustment, we can go to the effects controls and actually uh, close these Lumetri colors and toggle each individually on and off. So right here, this is uh, the green one. Maybe it's a little bit too much green in my opinion. So uh, let's increase this a little bit and get it more towards warmer tones. There we go. Without them and with the color adjustments. So right now we're actually getting very close to the actual color. If we're going to look at the other one, this might be a little bit more contrasty. So uh, what we can do is still go to the other Lumetri. If you select the first Lumetri color here, which was actually the greens that we were adjusting, you will see that it won't update right here. So right here we only can affect the blues. So what you can do is actually bring this down um, below the other adjustment. So it's always going to look at the last Lumetri color right here. And here we can actually increase the orange tones a little bit more uh, in the color uh, correction right here. So as you can see, my cost is around here uh, into the orange. Never go all the way, never go like mid, just do tiny uh, subtle adjustments. As you can see, it's doing a very big difference. And there we go. So um, sometimes it might affect your scene. So what you can do is actually readjust it. Uh, as you can see, it's going to do minor adjustments here, but actually looks pretty good so I'm going to keep it as it is in the um, I'm going to keep it as it is it looks great it looks amazing in my opinion you can still go back to the basic adjustments and play around with the shadows maybe you want to make them darker or brighter uh, maybe the highlights you can also play here uh, lower these the exposure you can still adjust these a little bit contrast increase it just a little bit more for the highlights bring them down so we have these highlights on the house that are gone uh, the whites we can increase these a little bit and there we go so the whites are actually white and with the blacks like what I don't like to do is just increase this then you get this kind of flat profile I don't like it I like the nice contrast style uh, in the creative tab you can also go ahead and add a little bit of sharpening not too much something like 10 and in the curves adjustment you want to uh, play around a little bit if you want to to get it a little bit more punch and uh, not too much again and there you go.
If you have something like a color that you want to fine tune a little bit more, you can go ahead and click over here. What I like to do is like lower the reds a little bit because reds, in this case, we don't actually see reds, but sometimes uh, it will affect your scene a little bit too much. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like, definitely subscribe to the channel for more, and also check out our website. We have a bunch of things to offer for filmmakers. Links will be in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.